Okay, welcome to exercise 7.3 using auditpoll.exe as part of the Microsoft Official Academic Course Administering Windows Server 2012 R2 in preparation for exam 70-411. In this exercise, you're going to use auditpoll.exe to manage auditing. You can use auditpoll.exe within scripts and you can configure per user audit policies. The estimated time for completion is 10 minutes. That let's get started. So we are currently in, we're both we're signed on to server one as well as RWDC. And if you're following along, I'm going to go ahead and close out of my group policy management that I had open during the last session. And I'm going to go over to server one and close out of my command prompt. And my event viewer is better. Okay. So I'm going to minimize server one. All right, so I'm on my domain controller. There's nothing else open right now. I'm going to click on tools, which is here in my server manager, and click on Active Directory Users and Computers. Now we want to right click the users node and we're going to put in new and user. And this is going to be user2. It's going to have a logon name of user2. And then we're going to click on next. And again, we're going to use the same password we've been using. Uncheck user must change password in next selection. And password never expires. And we'll go ahead and click on next and finish. So now we're going to close out of Active Directory users and computers. And we're going to open up a command prompt. And this doesn't necessarily have to use the admin, so we'll just go into the regular command prompt. And I'm just going to go into right click and properties just so I can enlarge the font. Much better. Okay, so now we're going to type in audit poll space forward slash get space forward slash category colon asterisk. Enter. So now we want to see the audit policy which is set for Contoso user yeah. 2. Yeah. Okay, so now we're going to look at the audit policy set for Contoso slash user 2. We're going to do that by typing in auditpol dot exe space forward slash get space forward slash user colon contoso backslash user two space forward slash category colon asterisk and then enter. Okay, I must have typed something wrong. Yes, I did. Those typos get me every time. There is no audit policy defined for that user. So, since there is no audit policy, we have to set one. So to do that, we're going to type in audit pol 
space, sorry, dot exe space forward slash set space forward slash user colon contoso user two space forward slash sub category colon quotation user space account management quotation now you'll notice there are spaces in between the user and then the account um, that's because it's within that quotation so we can put that there and space forward slash success colon enable space forward slash failure colon enable enter the command was successfully executed now to display those settings for everyone we want to type in a u d i t p o l space forward slash get space forward slash category colon star Now, to get the settings for user 1, we're going to execute auditpol.exe space forward slash get space forward slash category colon asterisk space forward slash user colon user 2. That can't be right. No, that, there's actually a type on the lab manual. This should be user 1. Because we've already set it for user 2. Enter. No audit policy defined. There we go. Okay, so this is still user two. It's not uncommon to see typos in the in the line manual. To get settings for user one. Okay, so this takes us to the next question. Are the audit policies configured with group policies displayed when you specify a single user? The answer is no. All right, if you are following along in the lab manual, this would be where you would take the next screenshot. Now we're going to reset the settings for user one. Actually, we're, we're going to reset the settings for user 2, even though it says for user 1. The command was successfully executed. So, to remove... Reset the settings for user 2. Okay, now we're going to verify that the per user setting was removed by running the following command audit poll.exe space forward slash get space forward slash user colon contoso slash user 2 space forward slash category colon star no audit policies defined for user account just for giggles let's go ahead and put in user one 
no audit policy is defined for the user account. So we are back to no policies for that. And this is the end of this exercise and the end of this lab and the end of this video. If everything worked out successfully, I do recommend maintaining good housekeeping and you want to go ahead and right click your domain control, the RWDC, and just do a checkpoint and server one and do a checkpoint. Okay, and this is the end of this video. We'll see everyone for lab eight.